So uh, here we are somewhere in uh, southern France. Uh, where exactly? Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Just driving peek through, and uh, I know decided to stop and maybe record some things just because uh, it's just so damn fucking beautiful out here. I mean, I've not been to southern France, but I've heard from a lot of people that it's uh, beautiful out here. I mean. Farmland, man. Look at this shit. Look at the fucking mountains. Now, I'm hoping that I'll hit a uh, little village somewhere uh, along the way, just because, uh, yeah, obviously these farmlands are beautiful. Obviously these friggin' big mountains. Well, you can't see the big mountains up here, can you? Ay, 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 ay. Look at that shit. Ah. Oh. I don't know where I am exactly, uh, I'm heading towards uh, Arenas de Mar, I think it is, uh, on Espanola. So, uh, we'll see if, um, we'll see if I actually make it to bring it to Spain and uh, have a problems with uh, redirections on my GPS and not really understanding the maps, but hopefully I'll get to Spain in roughly. Uh, Nine hours probably. So uh, European time of roughly midnight. No, not even midnight. Past midnight. One a.m. European time. I might sleep out tonight uh, in France, maybe uh, on the Spanish border, and then drive to Barcelona uh, tomorrow. Maybe. Not entirely sure yet what I'm going to do with that. But I think I'll probably stay in France another night. It's uh, oh. It's so fucking nice here in France. Uh, I've suddenly gone from being, um, I don't know, like a frail uh, indoors guy, pretty white and pale, and just playing RuneScape all day to, um, yeah, I mean, I did that project and uh, been out in the sunshine. I had a beautiful, beautiful lady, uh, several beautiful French ladies. Those French kisses. It's such a nice, uh, it's such a nice gesture. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's beautiful out here. I feel uh, somewhat human again. I got some help in town from all the sun and the hard work. Uh, my body feels, uh, yeah, my body feels awake again, alive again. I've been living uh, quite spiritually out here, so it's been fucking beautiful. It, it sure beats the last experience I had in France, uh, where I ended up in uh, Gare du Nord uh, train station in Paris. Gare, is it Gare du Nord? Sure, I think it's got to party, but I'll be party. No, anyway, hey, so we party. No, no. Which uh, basically, I ended up at the train station in Gare du Nord in Paris. And you know, you think of Paris and it's beautiful, and you think of the Eiffel Tower and all these uh, scenic bits of the city. But Gare du Nord is basically uh, a ghetto with shit tons of homeless people sleeping and living at the train station. And I stayed there for about a day or two, uh, roughing out on the streets. No van to sleep in like I have now, so... Yeah, it was uh, pretty fucking scary. Pretty different experience. Look at this shit. Just fucking look at this shit. I wonder what it was like this in southern Germany. Will I make it to Germany? Will I make it to Italy? I'm sure. There's, so, there's another project after this uh, in Spain that's one in uh, Portugal, well there's several in Spain, there's several in Portugal, there's several in, um, I think there's three in Alaman, uh, Germany, in Alaman, Alaman, is it, I don't know, but uh, I, it's hard to um, connect to them because I don't have any credit left on my phone, uh, I need Wi-Fi so I can use Skype and use the Skype credit to call uh, people, I also need um, Wi-Fi to confirm people's addresses, you know, I can't just drive all the way, say, to Italy or Spain, uh, out on a limb. I mean, I actually am doing that. Um, I'm going to see uh, my friend in um, Spain. You know, the... I don't know if I already spoke about this guy, but basically I met him over RuneScape, uh, a friend of mine who lives in Belgium. I've, I've been to meet him in Belgium. And apparently him and his friends are going to be uh, staying in a nice big villa in Barcelona, so... I'm thinking I go visit them for a few days and scrounge their internet and food and showering facilities. And 
party because uh, the young uh, Belgians are probably pretty rowdy outside of Belgium. I don't know though, I don't, I don't know Belgian culture well enough for uh, all Boris and his friends. But yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens there. And hopefully, in that time with the Wi Fi and what we've been around uh, Spain and maybe buying some credit for the phone, hopefully. Yeah, I, I should hopefully be able to get a damn address of one of these people I'm working uh, for with the projects. I mean, there's a co-housing project going on, uh, there's some airship building going on, there's a lot of like uh, just natural space stuff going on where they, they don't have a clue what they're doing with it yet, but they're gonna do, they want to do something with it, something uh, ecological, there's a bunch of farmyards that want to repair, and the most common thing seems to be, uh, for some reason, these cob houses, these cob buildings. Sure, what that is? Maybe it's uh, just it's really easy to make these cob structures. These, uh, yeah, these cob structures with a bit of bamboo and a bit of clay it might be the uh, yeah, it might be the ease of construction that makes them so popular. And it's nice. Uh, it's a nice idea. These volunteering projects they feed you and you help them with uh, with the project. You know, it's uh, not paid for. You just do it out of the kindness of your heart. And you get to watch this one's little world. Yeah, become something. I think it's it's really nice work. It's really rewarding. Though. It's uh, been doing the love shack and yeah, really bonded with these people and also a hot priest uh, out on his project. So it's good. It's good. I'm not sure if I'll see him again in Spain. I, I do hope to contact them. I do hope they'll get there. But I know Sophie herself won't be um, won't be coming to Spain. She doesn't get internet access. So we'll see how that goes. So. You don't know Sophie. Oh wait, no, I think she's on one of my videos. Uh, don't let's speak French, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, here are these. Uh, oh shit, you can't see anything. So uh, here are these mountains. I can see them much better than you can, though. So come on, camera. Get with the digital age properly. You're supposed to be a HD camera. God damn it. Oh, you can't see. You can't see uh, anything of them. Uh, through this camera, you can't really understand or comprehend the way they look, but they're just magnificent mountains, they're just so beautiful. I am near Oloron, or Oloron, maybe Oloron. I, I haven't got a fucking clue how you pronounce that in French. I don't know if it's in France or if my GPS is misguiding me and I'm hitting the Swiss Alps. I don't think I am, I'm pretty sure I'm in France because of the, uh, the type of market, the marché. I mean, uh, it's still French writing, so I'm still probably in France, and there's no mention of any border crossing. Unless maybe I'm in Catalonia now, and these mountains are Catalonian mountains, and I'm in the Catalonian region of southern France, I'm sure. Might hit Andorra soon, actually. How many miles away am I from... Uh, 289 miles from Barcelona, so... I'm definitely in southern France, but exactly where is... Uh, guesswork really. I can look on my GPS but I don't care enough. Oh look at that, he's got a little yin yang on the back of his or her van. Oh excellent. Anyways, uh, I don't know whether I should pop up or just show you one of these uh, nice villages if we'll see one of these beautiful French villages. I hope so. Just all this fucking farmland and mountains. Right? It's weird uh, to see so much nature at once. It's, it's really, really beautiful to see so much nature. To keep driving through it, the heat here, it's... Oh, it's only like 28 degrees Celsius, actually. It's not Australian desert heat or anything, but... Dubai is nice. It's nice and warm. Oh, feel the sun in the air. Oh, I'm talking shit now. I'm really sorry. It's just... I'm just overwhelmed by... Uh, the experience I've had here in France, it's just, it's amazing, I've, I've been taken into some random strangers, you know, abode, I've learnt a little bit of French, I've been to some real French parties, met actual French people, you know, had a, had a proper French experience, I think, in the vineyard, yeah, those are definitely great, and, um, yeah, just integrated with that, integrated with Brittany, B-R-E-T-A-G-N-Y, Brittany, I've integrated with uh, Brittany. I really, I don't know, I really feel good about that area after being on that project and just 
weird. I uh, within about a week of eating well and we had like a sweat lodge as well. I just um, I don't know. I just felt whole, you know. Just within the first week and probably uh, five or six days in, uh, falling for that Sophie. She's 44, mind you, but wow, damn. I thought she was beautiful anyway. So there was that, there's all this kind of hippie stuff going on, there's all these parties, there's a project, everyone I'm meeting is, you know, ecologically aware, beautiful, nice people, just here to love each other, here to care for the world and the environment. It's, yeah, so that's nice, I mean, as I say, I've been learning a bit of French, I can't speak French, I suppose if I was forced to for four hours in a coffee shop, I could come up with some French things. I can understand it a bit, I suppose. It's just. It's just me being lazy, it's because basically, a week and five days in, I'm at um, Liz and she, she she was speaking English to me because she uh, lived in Australia, so it kind of ruined my um, need to keep speaking French. Everyone started speaking English, so I wasn't learning much more French. I learned plenty of other things from her though. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, so I got myself a French woman, I mean. Good food, good times, helping someone with a construction project. I mean, yeah, the, the experience has just been amazing, in and out, inside and outside. It's just been fucking amazing. I, uh, I have no real way of expressing it other than that. The people there were all beautiful people on this project. I got to see the French countryside. So much French food. I went to uh, City Concano, I think it is. I tried these uh, weird delicacies they have in Concano. Got to look at Concano. I don't really like Concano that much. I like the little villages in between Brittany, but not really Concano. France in general is just so beautiful. The, uh, the culture is great. And I'm, I'm, I'm a fat guy. Uh, I know I look skinny, but in, uh, inside of me lives a fat man. And all these French people seem to uh, have an unlimited supply of cheese and wine. That's so stereotypical and sounds so racist, but I don't give a flying fuck. It seems to be true. It seems like there's just no end to du fromage. It's just, it's everywhere. <sighs> okay, I'm going to have to stop uh, rabbiting on, I think. Uh, because I, I could talk for hours about this. Uh, I probably will to friends of mine in the UK. Uh, oh, I miss my friends in the UK a little bit. I think about them from time to time, I keep thinking about Jack uh, Denton and, I don't know, just the whole gang, even caught and like old friends, old friends, wishing I could take them all out here, but they either don't have the drive or caught up in something else, it's a shame really, I love those guys, I don't know why they aren't out here with me, I'm going to have to fucking take a couple of them, I'm just going to have to divorce them, I'll just say listen, you aren't sitting inside any longer, fucking come with me, your debts can wait, your bullshit can wait. Let's do, let's do an eco project together. Split the fuel, cheap for me. Split the travel. All right. Yeah, I think it's time for me to go. It's, uh, it's getting emotional. I mean, I'm leaving, I'm leaving those projects. When I left those people, I uh, honestly, I just broke down, started crying. I was so in love with them uh, as people, all of them. I was so in love with the project and the idea of. Anyways, um, you know who I am, you know what I do, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if not, I really don't care at this point, I'm too happy to be bothered about the reason why I even made this video. Anyways, enjoy your lives, uh, if you ever want to go on any eco projects in Europe, uh, or you know of any, or eco villages or anything like that, please, please hit me up, because uh, my interest has really been piqued from this. Anyways, I love you all everyone in the world, even the people who would uh, kill my entire family, still love you, I just wish you wouldn't do stuff like that, even you uh, devils all of you, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy your lives and your day, and uh, je suis libre.